What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. I'm excited today because today is the day we get to go play with the new training wheel on the Razor. Okay, so before we do this, I've got to tell you guys how excited I am. This is going to be freaking awesome. So I've been wanting to do this since I was a little kid and get up early on Saturday mornings and watch the Dukes of Hazard at like 6 a.m. And uh, all the other videos and movies and things like that that I've seen since has done nothing but just inspire me to this point today where it's actually my time to give it a shot. So normally I take the razor out and I get a little bit of dirt therapy with it and stuff. It's, it's kind of my release. I get to go out and get completely away from everybody. I don't have to deal with any kind of business stuff in any way, shape, or form and just get to kind of go crazy and wild and have a good time. But lately I haven't had a chance to really do that that much and this machine's really just been kind of sitting and uh, not really getting much attention lately. So I'm taking this opportunity to uh, not only give it a little bit of love and uh, show it some good times, but to also go out there and uh, try something that I've always wanted to do. So with that, let's just jump right into it and let's see how it plays out. You guys would really not believe how hard it is to physically get the machine to actually come up. You wouldn't think it would be that hard, but it's a lot harder than you would think. And then once it does come up to fight your instincts to hold it there, instead of trying to just automatically set it back down and try to save your ass. So after playing around this thing for a little while, I kept on trying to mash the gas as I would start to slide into it, thinking that that would lift it and pick it up, but it's actually just the opposite. As those tires are spinning, it actually breaks traction and allows the whole ass in to slide out. So what I had to end up finally doing to get it to actually start to lift is when I crank into it, let off the gas, and then that would actually let it start to pick up and roll over. So it's at this point that I realized that the old training wheel is going to stay there for me and uh, might actually work out. So I get a little bit more confident with this thing and try to hit it a little bit harder. So one of the first things I realized pretty quick is that I need a little bit more air pressure in my tires. I usually only run about 7 or so on the trail and I knew that wasn't going to be enough so I bumped them up to about 20. But these big horns that come on these machines are actually pretty soft so I end up pumping them up to closer to 35 and then they kind of seem like they're starting to feel a little bit better but they're still pretty soft sidewall.
the training wheel's holding up great, and I'm getting a little bit more confident, and I'm getting a little bit of seat time in here, but the street's kind of starting to suck a little bit because I keep not wanting to hit the curb. And uh, also, there's some things like mailboxes and things like that that I obviously don't want to wipe out. So I got kind of lucky. A friend of mine happened to be driving by and seen us out there and uh, invited us over to uh, his parking lot. So we're going to move the show on over there and have a little bit more room and uh, be able to have a lot more fun. So at this point, I'm really getting the hang of it pretty decent, and I'm starting to realize that my training wheel is actually just a little bit too long. And what's happening is that every time, time I come down and I touch the training wheel, it actually unloads the suspension a little bit, and when it unloads it, it gets a little bit squirrely, and then I have to give it more gas or steer back into it the other direction to be able to save it, and then it ultimately ends up bringing the machine back down on its tires. So the parking lot idea ended up working out great. That made it a lot better and a lot less stuff to worry about trying to hit. Still did kind of run out of room pretty quick as fast as I was going, but uh, worked out a lot better than the street. I just want to say a quick thank you again to Sam, Trevor, Marco, Connor, and Ty. Couldn't have done this video without you guys. I appreciate it. And thanks again to everyone else that stuck it out this long. And I hope you guys check out some of our other videos. And we've got more shenanigans to come. So look forward to that as well.